Thanks for staying with us. Now, um, Shay Shay, one of the selected judges of a reality TV show, Nigerian Idol, trended on Twitter and had a lot of backlash on a comment she had made to a 17-year-old aspiring um, star. For those that haven't seen the clip, uh, um, her, her comment that she made to the, the young man, please watch um, this clip. Okay, so I'm told that the clip is not ready yet. Um, so according to um, the, the what's it called, the clip, I mean, for those that did, did, maybe want to know the, the dialogue, according to her, she said, I am, j I am laughing because I can't just believe what I just heard. Um, who told you to come? Uh, you should go back and tell, uh, tell them they are not your friends. That was not a good one. And you have a sweet... Um, token voice, talking, but talking, <laughs> is it talking. talking? Was it talking? All right, yes, it meant, a sweet meant talking, talking voice. Yes, um, but your performance is terrible. You are never going to make money being a singer. Whew, that's really harsh. So, popular TV um, host Frank Edoho, um, in an apparent reaction on Twitter, said that I think the judges on Nigerian Idol should be coming down. They are a tad harsh. You now put hashtag a Nigerian Idol. Now, given the high level of suicide and depression amongst today's youth, who um, we very much care about on ways and also are a major participant of these kinds of events, how should feedback be given? And um, for the receiver, how should you take feedback? That's our question for today. So please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 Do we have the video now, I think? Okay, so let's, let's call for the video. I'm laughing at the fact that I just can't believe what I just heard. Wow. That didn't yeah, sound good. Yeah, yeah. So who, I don't know, who told you to come and... Nervous. No, wait, somebody lied to you. Somebody told you to come here and audition. Yeah, you have a sweet talking voice and it comes out in your singing voice, but your performance, terrible. You're never going to make money being a singer, babes. I love you, you're so sweet, but you're not a singer. Sorry, my yeah. darling, sorry. Heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so she said God, she got serious backlash you ah. know they were i mean people dragged her saying that your you your own career that you're talking about somebody else you not know, making that are, are you even successful in your career and all of that i mean she's an amazing singer no doubt about it and the young man i mean i i, ho I thought they were going to play the part where he sang briefly mm. you know before the feedback came his voice was not that bad you mm. know so but i don't know was that the right feedback to give you know let me hear your thought before I hear Lam, because Lam is the one that will always tell you, I have to be honest with you. With, um, and she long. will twist her head like this. <laughs> I, I believe in diplomacy. Diplomacy mm. has saved the world. As it has made us who we are today. Mm. And, you know. But the key thing is, there is something in, edu in um, as a mentor, there are two ways we can look at this. She is supposed to be like a mentor, a guide to this young man and not just judge him, but point him towards the right direction. So mm -hmm. as a mentor, she should never have given him such, such deconstructive yes. criticism. Mm. Because there is something we call constructive criticism. She should have said it in such a way that, oh, look, I think you have a unique voice, but I don't think this competition is for you. Maybe you have to go back and train yourself some more and mm. come back. Mm -hmm. I've seen, God bless his soul, I've even forgotten his name, Dan, Dan Foster. Foster. That was a beautiful, Ooh. he had a beautiful Or was it Nana that said, it's not the, working for me. It's not working for me. <laughs> and we all took it. You know, that she should have done it in that way. Not, you know, and the way she laughed, if you had seen the video from the beginning, she laughed the moment he started presented wow. so already that would have deflated demoralized his him immediately mm. but he kept going i think at 17 i mean the boy tried at 17 what were we doing we're mm. thinking of how to pass jam and all that <laughs> our motivation wasn't get to as that so well, i think he went the, the he went the route of you know trying to make it mm. as early as possible yeah you know then today's today's is, youth you know today's youth this is their bed, bread and breakfast. breakfast. This is their. This is how their aspirations. To break this is what even. they want. Yes, I just want to blow. So mm -hmm. they find every. So you would find a lot of young people in 
this kind of reality TV exactly. shows and all of that. So you as a person knowing mm -hmm. the condition of the country, the exactly. nation and everything, as a judge, you should have that at the back of your mind to know mm -hmm. that the country is already tough on these people. So exactly. whatever it is that you're going to give them, leave them with something that would be, even though, we you, know how the British, young, you know how the you British know? will tell you to go mm -hmm. to hell and you look forward to, <laughs> go to going hell. to hell. With, you know, that's how you should be. But let me hear, then I'll come back to you. Okay. Let me hear Lamy's initial thoughts. Madam, I want to be brutally honest with you. <laughs> Love me. Oh, <laughs> I've seen the video of the sport, but when you replayed it again, I was just shaking my head. Mm. In as much as I like to be always brutally honest, mm. I think that was way, way below the belt. Exactly. She clearly lacked tact and finesse mm. on how to on how she should have conveyed her message without missing the message mm -hmm. to the young man. Mm -hmm. I think it was way, way below the belt because that was not a feedback. That was just a condemnation and um, condemnation. He okay. just, she just outrightly condemned the boy <clears throat> and she's done nothing. Because even when you're giving feedback, it has to be quality, it has to be quality feedback. Mm -hmm. And you ha it has to be a conversation. Mm -hmm. When you're giving a feedback to somebody, you have to ensure that they understand what you're saying and have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. And the, what I saw in that video was just outright condemnation, just being judgmental. Even and that's after saying, I love She's you, done nothing but, oh, no, to the boy. Not yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, the interesting mm -hmm. thing is that already, you know, I, I wish she understood the power that she was wielding sitting on that chair as a judge. Already that boy is already intimidated by you exactly. because you are at the other end of the table as a judge, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the boy is already intimidated. You didn't have to, you know, it's almost like I want to show you that I am in charge. I want to shove it down your throat. For me, that was unnecessary. And I mean, she should not actually, I mean, if you ask me, maybe some mm -hmm. people have argued that this is just, you know, because nobody knew that a Nigerian idol was happening until exactly. this thing happened. happened. You know, so maybe this is just a, a ploy for the organizers to make it popular, make it trend. But you see, then again, you know, I, 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 I think at the expense of the mental health of that of boy, somebody else. Exactly. You know, yeah, I because for that. me, I mean, why we are even talking about this? Because Waze is focused on today's youth. youth. And the truth is that the majority of young people mm. are always moving. I mean, they are, they are always flocking towards in, in their droves. They move towards all of these reality TV shows and all of that. So how you as a person that has been put in a position of authority, do, does he not listen to Waje? Does he not, I mean, does she, rather, does she not listen to Waje and um, I think Timmy Dakolo mm -hmm. and, you know, the people on um, The Voice? Does mm. she not listen to them when they give feedback, feedback. to the, the, the contestants? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, for me, I think, you know, she went totally out of, out of line. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that she will be able to, you know, I mean, tender an apology. Because she did not. The what thing she actually said was that, oh, you made me trendy, so thank you. Meanwhile, I, I watch Nigerian Idols. I mean, come on, there was not, she wasn't even repentant of what she did. Because she doesn't understand the gravity of if what she If this young must have man done. goes tomorrow and goes to think, I mean, look at how teachers tell you that you can never make it in life. And thank all of that. you. There are two I was ways, going to say it. There are two ways um, people take these things on. It's either. I will Positive. prove to the teacher that I would be successful yes. and I will go the success route or mm -hmm. they go or completely south. Missing. Yes, totally. they go completely south and they lose it. Some of them even go to the point of committing suicide. Exactly. So she needs to understand the, the, the uh, what's it called, the gravity of you know, what she's done. Mode of communication is essential. Mode of communication is essential. There is uh, there are three types of communication, not the verbal and the nonverbal. This is, uh, we have the um, passive communication and we have the aggressive communication and we have the assertive communication. Now the, the, the first one, which is the passive communication is like a doormat. They treat you anyhow, they talk to you anyhow. While the aggressive communication with, I think she has used on this young man is, um, is aggressive, just like the name is. You, you, you just want to say it bluntly like it is. You're not coating it in any form of euphemistic way. But then we have the 
assertive communication. Assertive communication is a blend between both worlds. So you have an individual trying to say something effectively and at the same time pass the message across constructively. Hmm. And it usually has... There was, there was nothing constructive about yes, this. Yes, and there is a mutual respect hmm. for who you're well, talking to. Well, just an outright condemnation. You know? She just condemned yes. it by ruining his self-esteem mm -hmm. and did everything inimical to the boy's mental health. Exactly. As so if she was could have been cautioned in the show by the producers whatsoever. of the show. You are a lawyer. I think this should be. Mm. You are a lawyer. Do you think this young man can sue her? He, he, can he claim trauma? <laughs> yeah. Emotional imbalance. Distress. <laughs> no, but can he well, claim that? He can try. He never can tell. I won't outrightly say no. He can try. If you can prefer enough evidence to convince the, the court, mm. he might get lucky. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you know, so as I, was I never saying, say never. Yeah, I never say never. He can. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, you know, if he can show that the damage occurred by what he has said to her. Yeah. Mm. Now, so I was what that, she said to him, rather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was saying before, before we went, before we started the conversation, that you know, when I did my training on um, mind programming and all of that, they taught mm -hmm. us something. It's called the sandwich approach. The sandwich approach is the approach that is the uh, we we'll, we'll call it some form of the best approach to give feedback to people. Hmm. The sandwich is like just like your, you know, you put all your bread, you put the thing. So and it's almost like, so you pad the hard part in between, in between the soft, you know, slices That's of the bread. Do you understand? So you must pad it in, so that sandwich approach, meaning that, okay, you say, oh, oh, by the way, you look handsome today. You know, you know, I love your voice. It's a very good talking voice. You know, you, know you don't even need to say but. Hmm. This competition would require something a lot more stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think with a lot of training, you know, you might eventually get there, you know. But for this particular season, I think you need more work Come to back be done. This season. I mean, that. So she simply have buffered his ego, you know. Yes, like you pad it. Mm -hmm. You yeah, pad it. That's your point. You mm -hmm. pad it because people are saying that. I know Lamy would always say that you work on yourself, you work on yourself. But mm -hmm. the truth is that not many people are strong. I can. Tenacity there are some things different. that you can throw at me mm -hmm. that I can take. Exactly. I won't break down. Exactly. But there's somebody else that is just waiting for that word that you and would say, and eventually we'll just the person crumble. loses it, and the person just, you know, decides to say, I'm tired of I'm taking You never can tell why that boy went on that show. You never can tell what he's been suffering from childhood, why he decided to take the courage to go to that show, and she completely mm. ruined it for her. I'm Absolutely. sorry, for, for him. him. For him. You know what? So, you know, let's just take a very, very short break. Um, when we return, we want to open the phone lines because this we want to make it a bit broader. Because even when you are in a, in a place, your office, mm. you know, you are at home, how do you handle giving feedback to your children or your family members mm -hmm. or whoever? You know, how do you take on the subject of feedback? Because mm -hmm. it, not many people know how to actually give a constructive feedback. feedback even to the government too mm -hmm. that's why we are still having problems that we're having today <laughs> stay with us uh, uh, we'll be right back <laughs>